Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Be honest. Are you a Bruce or a Caitlin? <laughs> Caitlin. Okay. Is that, is that who you identify with today? I'm just a Bruce. I'm just a Bruce, Bruce. surrounded by some Caitlin. <laughs> That's a, it's an old Prince tune. Yeah. It's not. We hasn't been released. Producing yet. it now. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was uh, rumor has it before he OD'd in that elevator mm-hmm. that brought him down. Um, <laughs> love that song, by the way. That, he, that was the last song he recorded. I'm just a Bruce. I'm just a Bruce surrounded by some Caitlyn's. Hold on. Who's dead? Prince. He's d- Pr- Prince is dead? Dude, yeah, he's Prince dead died, like man. Years, man. We, yeah, it's a singer. A, Welcome to Drinking <laughs> Bros. <laughs> no, no, the singer. No, of Monaco. Bert yeah. Coots is here, yeah, by the way. Prince of Monaco died. And, uh, I mean, he's we're here all now. morning it. Bert Coots has it. not yet walked off the fucking podcast. So. And we're 30 one. seconds yeah. in. Jared, who do we have on the show today? These are your besties. Yeah, these are my these are my two twenties. Yeah. Uh, we call this the TPR, Travis Pastrana Wrangler. Ah. <laughs> okay, that's a, uh, let a, me stop you right there because Wrangler starts with a W. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've always wondered why they call I me mean, TPR. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Jesus. these guys who come from a small town in Cape Cod didn't yeah. even realize that. Uh, Did no, you? That's our school in Cape, Cape Cod. Cod. Cape Cod, yeah. yeah. He said yeah. Cod. No, I know. He knows exactly I was about like, the Cod I was like, crisis. yeah, Wrangler. <laughs> okay, so tell me how long you've been calling him TPR and how long <laughs> the group has Just been now. accepting it. Just it's now. been about four years. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Four years. Yeah. And, and no one's corrected this yet. At all. Jesus fucking Christ. This is dope. A.K.A. Dove Rubnick. Hold okay. on, and I can't wait yeah. to hear what my acronym is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. What, what's that going to be? Exactly. Well, no, no, the, the, I'm related to him. This is Trip Taylor. Ooh, oh, oh, right. yeah. 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 We're is like third real? cousins removed yeah, from so our sister. Just a little thinner, Uncle. Just a little thinner. You look like Al Borland on speed, <laughs> <laughs> on meth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You said that before we came on air. I pissed myself with Just laughter. A, you know, did Al Borland. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Al Borland and Richard Simmons got together, started oh, some workout tapes. Yeah, yeah uh, totally. Do you think Richie? He's, do you think old Richie's got some kids out there somewhere? Uh, the Al Borland? No, the Richard Simmons. Do you think he's got some kids? Out I there? think no. he does. Come no. on, he's he, gay. I, he he doesn't matter. Gay. Here's the thing: yeah, how his, many? I'm not going to go down this. I should go down this. Dick right. Simmons. How many? Men have wives and kids that are gay. Uh, Travolta. Oh, Bert Coots. One no here. Hugh right. Jackman. Oh, no. Hugh Jackman. Oh yeah, Jackman. That's gay. that's the name of our Hugh Jackman's beard is the name of our cover band. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, no. Is it, or, or is, is, it, is, it, or is it Huge Huge Jackman? Huge Jackman is Hugh Jackman gay? Great question. Um, he's got two kids. <laughs> He's they're, been, they're adopted. He's been on a musical tour as a solo dancer on stage for the last year, so I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what else to tell you, brother. There's nobody <laughs> that attractive who can sing and dance like that. And I don't and know. Look at this gay. man. Look at his He skin. can't dance. He Are you sure? I, you have Positive. never seen him dance. Po- never. In a mil- he Whatever. Can't dance. He can't dance. Can't can't dance. dance. He can sing. You though. can dance if you want to. Mm, you can leave see your friends behind. behind. And if your friends don't dance, they don't dance. They're no friends of mine. Um... What's up, fellas? What's happening? Man. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having you, us. You, you guys are OG legends. You you worked on all the jackasses, too. Jesus yeah, Christ, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. No, 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 no. Let's keep going. Just rewind that one a little bit. Back in the VHS days, hit that rewind button. Yep. You uh, worked on the Tom Green Show. We were talking oh, about this yeah, last shit. show. What happened to I, that guy? I have been claiming what? that the Tom Green Show was the first uh, thing to create reality television. <sighs> I would say the first world. one to real create world. reality comedy TV and prank, really. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, what was a reality show before Tom, Real World, I think. Real World. The oh, Osborne. Yeah. I thought Tom the Green Osborne. came before it. No. That was later. That, that was later. Was it really? the, yeah, I mean, yeah, the yeah, one yeah. that really... You're talking about like 10 years later. Me and Dave were oh, in like fourth, yeah. fifth grade. Wow. Yeah, you have to talk into that mic. I was um, I was fifty two. Sorry, when that. <laughs> fuck up. Wow. You know what? Uh, fuck wow. you guys. I will get up and walk off this fucking oh, podcast. Bert Coots, <laughs> right Coots is back, ladies talk and gentlemen. Talk into the mic. Talk louder. Fuck you guys. How I'm was how was it working with, <laughs> with Tom Green? Like that had a bit. He, I'm I'm. He went through some crazy shit. Like, he yeah, was what was crazy. he like to work with? He he was amazing to work with. Funniest guy, but a little insecure. You know, but uh. 
Amazing. He would do shit out at Hollywood parties that it was like, to, like Tony Hawk would go to him into doing shit of like, hey man, there's a fucking, we went to this, it was the opening of some fucking store, right? Celebrities, champagne, all this stuff. Tony Hawk was just like, uh, hey man, there's a DJ over there. Why don't you go throw that, just push that DJ on the floor and go take over. <laughs> and he would be like, should I do it? Tom Green was that. And oh, he, goes, he, he yeah, was yeah. fearless. I mean, we, we, um, and he did. So he pushed the we, fucking DJ over and just started, he took over. We, we did a couple specials with him, and one was the Monica Winsky special, and we convinced everyone in Canada by putting a ring on her right. finger that they were going to get married. Oh, yeah, and yeah then I remember that. Yeah. And fucking Great run hopes. up the press so wow. bad that we made an announcement on the Little Beaver restaurant in Canada and just talked about you know her new handbag coming out, and everyone's like, was so pissed at us. I spent a lot of time in my career where people were really pissed at me. I'm sure. <laughs> so did you I'm work sure. on the movie? Which one? If Freddie got, got fingered? fingered? I did not. Because oh. that was that kind of that that was the end of it. Like I knew in town because he was like, "What happened to Tom Green?" It, that was kind of like the last thing where it was just like, "Oh shit, this is f- super fucked up," and he's he's blacklisted at this point. You know what? He still <laughs> is like huge on the comedy tour scene. Like he's still doing a lot of stuff. But, yeah, 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 he yeah. Is. But um. He was so much fun to work with, man. Like, we went to Japan and did a thing called the Subway Monkey Hour, where we just went and kind of, I mean, like a, a bit called Sushi Dildo, where we put a dildo. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what? That one, please. Hold on. Please? Can we just go to Sushi Dildo? Subway of Monkey we can. Hour oh, and Sushi and Dildo. Yeah, I'm in. Yeah. I'm in. You now got I'm me. Sold. Yeah. You got my attention. Uh, where we put a little, little camera with a fisheye lens and those little. Uh, roundabout things where you take your sushi off and put it facing out, put a dildo on it, and it was going. And he's had a mic, and on the mic is like, I'm a dildo, I'm a dildo. And literally was shooting everyone that went across, um, dressed up as Godzilla, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did karaoke as Elvis. It was pretty fun. Oh, God. You know, That's buddy, hilarious. Uh, me and a buddy of mine once dressed up, so he went into the... <laughs> I'm, you got me no, at no, that. No, it's, <laughs> we're, we're in a fucking uh, Japanese restaurant, right? And... It, I go into the bathroom and dress up like a ninja. <laughs> and he comes in dressed like Godzilla. <laughs> and we just start fighting in the middle of this thing. I swear to Is God. Is this real? Yeah. Where at? <laughs> Fort Bragg. <laughs> That's really fucking funny. Yeah. That's awesome. It was amazing. Oh, man. I think, I think you need to recreate this yeah. on a yeah. Yeah. American Fort Bragg. American American grill, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sapporo. What, what, hey, when did you start on Jackass? When was that? Uh, day one, were you there? No, no. You know what happened? They, uh, I was producing the Tom Green show. Got a call from a friend of mine. It's like, hey, I got this crazy tape. These three guys want to meet with you. Walked in, and it was Knoxville, Jeff Tremaine, and Spike Jones. We hit it off. Watched what you know. They they showed me the tape, and I was like, you're never gonna get that shit on TV. How, so tell me about the tape. Wait. I, so I, I, dude, I got the tape. Oh, I know. And well, I mean, it, it was a VCR tape. I, you're dating me so bad. I like, know. I didn't want to fucking drop that, yeah. drop that hammer on you. I didn't want to drop that hammer on you. But it was, laser. it was, and I'll let you explain it. But that was the craziest mm-hmm. shit I had ever seen. And I, I said the same thing. I was like, "There's no fucking way anybody's gonna air this." Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, Knoxville bought the. He didn't have any money at the time. He was writing articles for magazines and did a couple, I think, like jobs. Um, like a Taco Bell commercial or something like that. And then he met Jeff Tremaine, who was r- running a skate magazine called Big Brother, mm-hmm. um, and said, hey, man, I want to run it. Knoxville said, I want to run an article on self-defense equipment. And Jeff was like, hey, why don't you film it? And that's what that tape started, where he uh, hit Oof. himself. You know, the stuff you've seen, which is him hitting himself with a taser. What you didn't see is him bringing a putting on a really cheap bulletproof vest. And shooting, shooting himself. Shooting Shot himself, himself in the, in the chest. middle of nowhere yeah. with a thirty-eight, And it went through, and the only reason it didn't kill him or go through is he put magazines from Flint. He had like porno mags behind it and it <laughs> didn't go all the way through. And they showed me that. And I was like, man, I love it. It's never going to get on the air. And then they called MTV and they're like, yeah, that's not going to make it. So they called me and offered me the job. Couldn't do it. I was with Tom Green. And then um, they, I had a friend do it and they got arrested like twice within a matter of a week. Um, they did think that no one's ever seen. Maybe they, maybe it did come out late, but called Convict, where Knoxville dressed up, yeah, in, yeah, in the, in the jumpsuits, and then went to right a, up here. But a, the, the, the police showed up. They went to a <laughs> so Home Depot. So well, yeah, they, they, they were at a home. They were at a, actually, a, I don't know if it's there anymore, but it was on Sunset. And it was a little hardware store. Yeah, and the police were so pissed because when they showed up, he was coming out like this, and the lady forgot to put the car in park. The police and the officer. Police, police officer and the cop and the 
car hit a telephone pole. Oh, so they're God. pissed yeah. and they get arrested. Well, maybe and just then, do your job right. That's though, the good old don't days. Blame me for trolling you. Yeah, right. but I mean, I, th- like, but it, it got as crazy as uh, p- p- Party Boy uh, jacking off all over himself in the backyard. He was all oiled that actually, up. Uh, hold on. That was your house. 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 There was cum about. all over it. I mean, he well, was just hold on. hammering away. <laughs> hold on. Uh, it was for Playgirl magazine, right? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. His yeah. wife that, doesn't know about that. that was, <laughs> my, my wife at the time, my first wife, didn't... <laughs> When we went no, on, you, go, you can talk about everything. I got the tape, motherfucker. Uh, well, that wasn't it. That was that was a we actually uh, two uh, things you can't talk about. Two different. That was a different time. So he did one thing for Big Brother, and then we reshot it again for the series in my backyard. And I think Dave Carney was Oil Boy. Because he was oiled up from head to toe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, it was so much oil, and it was like just full strokes. I mean, just. Crushing his dong, like, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I couldn't take my eyes off of it. Hold on, hold on, dude. So every friend that came over, I made them watch this tape because the series wasn't out yet. And I was like, "You will never believe what you're about to see." And then the jack off scene over and over again. It became like my badge of honor of like, "Hey, hey, I just want to. I'm I'm trying to get every dude to watch uh, watch him jack off all over himself." As you would. So can we go back to married gay guys with kids? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. (laughs) So there's three. So so when we go back and I question you about people's sexuality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Who else you want to know? Huh? Travolta? Hugh Jackman? No, no, we covered those. Okay. Tom Cruise? That's why I don't question anyone's sexuality anymore. I've seen it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen everything. You've seen it all. I've seen it all, yeah. Um, And the reason I bring up that specific one is years later, I go in for a meeting with uh, Tremaine and those guys. You walk in, you have to check in with the receptionist. There is a a 12 foot poster of. Party board. You know where that is? Dick and balls out. You know no, where that is? He's buck naked. So when you walk you told in. Me about that. Yeah, but you know where that female, is? Where, where is it at? That's my backyard. No way. That's the second time we shot. He's wearing the cowboy He's hat? wearing that little tiny cowboy yeah, hat. Yeah, that's yeah. my backyard. Were you the only guy that actually had a house? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Everyone else was homeless or living in He was the most shit. understanding. He was yeah. the most accepting of Hey, guys, we can use my yard. We're doing another day. It was kind of weird because I was like, with my wife at the time, I was like, so. When are you getting home from work? Yeah. <laughs> How do you explain the crazy any thing of that? is on that? Like, you gotta run a there was car. a there was our backyard. It was pretty it had high walls, but they were building a new house next door, and there was all these carpenters like putting in flooring outside, and we're like, like what is going on? And no one gave a crap. No, no they didn't give a shit yeah. back then. But even like, do you, you take that poster of Party Boy completely buck naked? Because yeah. it is it is dick and balls out. There was a female receptionist working there. That shit would never fucking fly. Not today. anymore. You know what they have now? They have. Uh, I was at, I was at Tremaine's office a little while ago, and uh, they have like a post it. Oh, over the dog. If you know Chris, no, this won't be a surprise to anyone who knows Chris. You need a few post it. He's got a he's got a hog on him, dude. He does. Yeah. Yeah, and then well, the, uh, what uh, should we talk about? Anyone from our life? Get off me and go to you. No, I think we're just take, the, taking the evolution. Of <laughs> yeah, the evolution. I, I, of I do, all I do, okay, I do, I do got a question jump, but, though. Sure. You obviously don't jump into being a part of two or three of the biggest shows of a generation. What was your tra- trajectory to get you there? Like, what? How did you get I, into television? How did you I get had, into? I literally <laughs> am a carpenter from. A, we both grew up in a small from town. from the same town, same yeah, shitty yeah. small town. What, it, what is it? What town? town? It's called Wellfleet, Massachusetts. Ah. Cape Cod. It's like a little fishing the, village. A yeah. little yeah. fishing village at, at, like, at the end of the world. Speaking of fishing villages in Massachusetts. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. You know about Christ Carlos Raphael and the current cod crisis. <laughs> I don't. I don't. No, you never will. I don't. Never okay. will. It's, are they keeping it under wraps? Yeah. The so last you, thing I'm, I'm going to ask you about that tape is... <laughs> It's so epic. We went. He, I, he had me at cod, and I was like, Where "No, is this don't, going? don't go down." There. I okay. can promise you, don't want to go down that okay. fishing hole. <laughs> All right, this fucker, um, <laughs> Stevo on yes. stilts, maybe eight feet in the air, just again naked, taking a shit mm. onto a sidewalk, yeah. and you see it coming out of his asshole down. Mm-hmm. Like there was a camera, obviously. Up yeah. and underneath. That was a part of that scrub. tape. Yeah, it was before my time. Uh, well, <laughs> Not saying it didn't happen later. Yeah, yeah, time, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, I, so going back, I watched that and had my friend that got arrested. And then uh, Tom Green finished out. And then they said, hey, we're doing, it got sold. Will you come and work with us? And I did all the TV, 
the all three films. I, I executive produced Bad Grandpa, which is really fun with Knoxville. And that's a funny fucking movie, man. Yeah, it's, fun. it's great. The man. shit scene in the that shit is scene the is fucking, yeah. Be, tell us about that. How'd that go? Wait, which one? The Where shit scene on the wall. Sneezes? Oh, God, dude, sneezes we shot we, we shot that like four different times with like four different. And uh, what's weird about that is when he walks out. There's no shit in the back of his pants, and like, and no one no one notices the stuff that you notice when you're when you're shooting it, right? Right, right, so, right. Um, dude, the kid, uh, he crushed it. Dude, he was so good. Yeah, there were times. So it was, it was. Uh, you know, were people just losing their? They're losing their mind. Losing their mind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that funeral should... scene is one of the funniest things you've ever seen. Dude, oh. that's one of the best. You know what? Though, like, over there's over. not many times in my life I've been in the in the truck because we have to build a control room in the middle of nowhere creepy to hide to hide yeah and it was like eight people in there so the weirdest one was when we did the um the pageant the beauty pageant oh, and i remember God. looking at everyone and like we're in and they're getting in they walk in and they're back with all the other girls and i'm like we are going to hell <laughs> and then it just went to mayhem for that. So yeah, well, yeah. I got some good news for you. There's no such thing as hell. And you know that because because there's zero evidence for it. Oh. <laughs> the same way I know that Elvis isn't still alive. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Absolutely sure. So I need to learn things here. Today. Tupac. I didn't even I'm know Prince you. was dead. He's dead. Yeah. Uh, who else? Prince and Frank. Yeah. Sure. Well, no, 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 Frank. no, no, no. Frank's still dead. <laughs> yeah, that's real. Hold on, no, not until you reviver in your movie. Oh, that's yeah, when, when yeah. Trans Frank her comes out, obviously. still alive for sure. Yeah, because we stole and her fucking diary. And yeah, it's still it. it's still ever. We talk about Frank a lot on this show. <laughs> We're Francophiles. Oh, wow. uh, I would know, like, did Knoxville <laughs> ever get un, like uncomfortable in some of these where he was? Yeah, like, how do oh, we, yeah. No, this I mean, is pushing this fucking way. No, far. I mean, I don't want to speak for Knoxville about his inner thoughts because I would never want to go in there. Like you wouldn't want to go into mine or his. Or yours, yeah, or your yeah. head. Oh, mine's super dark. <laughs> or yours, yeah, yeah. Relax, guys. Come on, it's, it's like the Ted Bundy like, tapes let's over all, there. Let's that all turn on me all of a sudden. <laughs> it's easier than turning on me. Yeah, fucking um, deflector. Over no, but here. I think that I mean there were definitely times when everyone was just like, "Ah, oh, we going too far here." Because it's, it's, it's it happened so anyways. Seeds, yeah, like, it's embarrassing. To, you're embarrassed watching this. You're it's like, uncomfortable oh, to watch. Yeah, what like, like somebody drinking a uh, bull cum, for example. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, was, that was a little rough. I gotta tell you, that was hold fucked on, up. hold on. Though, when you wait. say you, was, wait, 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 he, he he obviously has not. Oh, he doesn't know what we're talking about. He doesn't realize this is real. Who Ridge? Yeah, when you just said. Speaking of which, drinking bull cum. He was like, what the fuck? No, fuck's hold on. Yeah. First yeah. of all, that first yes, that's, that's real. No, first of all, that didn't happen. It was horse semen. Oh, that's oh, right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It was horse yeah. semen, yeah. 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 My bad. That's right. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. perfectly oh, okay. When you, were, when you were rolling out with those guys at the at the height of it, because we have a mutual friend, Ivan Victor, that yes, works on all that Ivan stuff. Victor. He described it to me, because I was like, dude, I, I was, I mean, a gigantic fan. I couldn't wait for it to come out every week, jackass, like, massive fan. I said, at its height, how big was it? And he goes, man, when those guys went out in public, they were fucking rock stars. It was like the yeah. fucking Beatles show up to a bar or whatever, and it was just chaos every single time. So everybody wanted to party, drugs, like all of it, you know, fans and, and yeah, all but that But then you got to live up to these names exactly. of being fucking maniacs. Yeah. Uh, it was, yeah, it was, it was pretty amazing to watch them go from, I don't want to say nobodies, but kind of. They were. I mean, Steve-O yeah, Steve worked at a circus at a flea market in florida and we showed up to meet him they had met him on big brother and he tried to light himself on fire and do a backflip and literally lit himself on fire and get like third second degree burns but when we went there it was like the shadiest circus you've ever seen and I, but and then to go from that and then two years not even like a year and a half two years later like he couldn't go anywhere that you know, everyone was like, Steve-O. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, Rolling Stone, the cover of Rolling Stone. That was a big one, yeah. Fuck. That was fun. That was a fun one to shoot, too. So Yeah. Um, was all that real, shooting them with pellets and all yeah, this? Yeah, yeah. It was all real. Jesus. He actually got attacked by an attack dog with no nothing on. That was like a real attack dog. Oh, oh that. Yeah. yeah. No, no thanks. sir. I'll pass on that yeah. one. It was. And by the way... If you take it easy if, on those gummy bears, Bert. I see you over there. They're Ooh. regular gummy bears. JT gave them to me. They no, they're not. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't Look, wait to see you in 25 in LA. You yeah, they're not regular gummy face. bears at all. <laughs> said, JT said they'd get rid of my headache and my sinus pressure. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It might work. 
But yeah. everything was real. Everything was there real. Was, uh, the rule of thumb was that nothing was faked. It was all real. And Knoxville is like anything. It doesn't matter what it is. Like the second you fake one thing, you go down a slippery spiral and no one yeah, believes you I anymore. I still remember the the, the uh, first episode air date, like season premiere. Same. And they were fucking launching themselves into mm. that swamp. Yeah, that was right. Like, yeah. holy yeah. shit. You're just like, this is real. I mean, at that time... I think CKY three had, yeah. had 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 came out. So like, and they had kind of brushed those. They didn't take it as far as Jackass did. It was, I mean, it was really fun to watch like Bam and and I mean back in the day like D'Amico, um, Dico, who ended up kind of leaving the group. But Brandon DeCalma, huh? Brandon DeCalma, or yeah, D'Amico. Oh, Brandon yeah, D'Amico. I, don't know I was like, wait, did he change his name on me? Um, <laughs> But super talented guy, like funny as shit. Um, and then when he left, we got Ryan Dunn, you know, who yeah. was one of my favorite people in the in the world. So. R.I.P. Man, that yeah, that fucking sucked. It did suck, and we also lost another friend who was in the car with him. So yeah, it was a that was a tough time. Um, Bam, I don't know that Bam's recovered. Ever I don't think from he, it. I don't think he has either. Um, by the way, Bam is a, such a great guy, and his family. Like I love Phil and April, and it's it's really hard to be that guy who goes in fucks with them and i was like no really we're leaving tonight thanks love you see you later two nights later go in fuck with them again <laughs> and you know and you're like it was the same alligators with, I mean, did you the work alligator yeah and the same with tom green like you're going to canada and you're like okay here we go you know, yeah we're gonna get kicked out of the country this time <laughs> did you work did you work on the bam show too i didn't i didn't do viva la bam okay um but a good friend of mine who now runs the mets joe devito um did that and yeah, man, it was, that that show was f- fun as hell too, man. Yeah, um, and then uh, Wild Boys. I did Wild Boys. You did Wild Boys. Yeah, I did uh, season one and two, and then a, a, a good friend of mine, Derek Frieda, who uh, um, I hired for the first Jackass movie when I went and did the weird. I did a show called Trippin' with Cameron Diaz, which is like an ecological show teaching kids how to. You're going to hate this. You might want to put your earmuffs on. Yeah. Uh, help the environment. That's I, right. I'm not anti-environment. I'm not a Captain Planet villain. What the fuck? Man? You you just said like, oh, I, <laughs> was I was I was in the bathroom and they didn't have paper towels, so I I burnt no, down a forest. It I told you it wasn't about all that shit. Okay. It was about them telling me like, don't get preachy with me about. Stuff. I'm not getting preachy. <laughs> no, not you. Really? I'm, no, not you. I'm talking about them. That was my oh. beef with them. And speaking yeah. of beef, yeah. I have a program that identifies vegans and then assigns families to eat double meat. To make up for those <laughs> pussies not eating meat. Did I tell I have, you what I the most PC yet. show in Hollywood? Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, meatish, meatish, yeah. meatish. We'll f- we'll figure it out. That's okay. terrible. We'll figure something. Was that out. the show where Cameron Diaz kept farting in that tent? <laughs> she kept farting in the tent. <laughs> Is that a real thing? You know what? I hate to say it, but you're talking about when we were in with DMX and. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she yeah, just yeah. kept farting in the tent over she, and over again. By the way, I'm going to tell you, sweetest woman on the planet. I, I'm I'm decently friends with her husband. Are you? Yeah. yeah. What is decently? Friends? Well, yeah, what, what's that mean? I hung out with him a couple Super times. Weird. Fuck. That's cool. That's yeah. weird. I'm decently friends with her husband. We were on he, perfo- the same he performed flight. his he was in first class. Yeah, I was right. in coach. He served him. You served every him. once in a while. He I was, passed a, him he on was an airplane. singing he was in first class. to me in the audience. <laughs> he's the singer in Good Charlotte. Yeah, he's a singer in Good Charlotte. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I can't say anything bad about her. She's freaking awesome. But no, not at all. She just kept farting in that tent. That's all I remember about that show. She's a. She's a. She's a. You when you eat guy? like that, when you eat that TB12 diet like Giselle and them, like, you know, it's just her. It, it's two toilets facing each other. Her and Tom Brady, Giselle and Tom Brady. just Giselle and Tom Brady. Yeah. Just Are they eat, vegans? Eating that, uh, it's TB12. So What's it's that? Just what weird. is TB12? It, it, it's his, it sounds it, like Tom it's, Brady's got his It sounds own. like a drug you buy and you take and you gain 150 pounds. Yeah, yeah. It's the opposite. It's, oh. it's a meal prep and... They send it to you, and it's it's all like weird vegan foods oh. and shit. And it's Tom Brady swears by it that it, that's what's kept him playing and winning Super Bowls forever. I don't know if it's true or not, obviously, but I know that they probably shit their brains out in that household all day long. Is it weird that I'm I'm a guy who doesn't watch any sports? Uh, uh, no, not at all. I know. Yeah. Yes, it is. We're, yes, no, I mean you can yes. I mean I know. Yes, Meanwhile, we have a we have a guy with a gambling problem over here. Oh, do you? Oh. You love drinking bro <laughs> sports. Ace, Ace 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 yeah. Yeah. Ready? Let's just talk get, about get the focus off me. Yeah, uh, yes, Dove. Let's talk about your problems. Dove. Who, who do you got in March Madness? Then who'd you take? Florida State. 
put the Fuck house on. Fuck off. We got him in the final four. We got him in the final four. put the house on it. Put, put the farm on it. <laughs> That's way too much. <laughs> this is great. They're not Ace. going to win at all. <laughs> what did I just say? Ace, Ace Rothstein over here. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to win at all. That's a dumb thing. That is a dumb thing. Why, Why don't you guys just wager that? right here? Why don't you guys bet a thousand dollars right here? Pillowcase full of right. gold. His grandma left him. He's bet that too. Yeah, I bet. Is that, it cool? Is yeah. your grandma some kind of war criminal or something? Without, <laughs> why, did, yeah. why, why did your goddamn grandma have a pillowcase full of gold? <laughs> yeah. Well, she's, she's got some. Yeah. What? What's? Uh, so you bet on everything? Every sport? No, he just made that up. Actually. <laughs> oh. No, oh. No. Okay. Hold on. Now. Can we talk yeah, about yeah. how uh, often is he betting? Can, uh, oh, I've been with Trav. That's yes. that is true. Okay, I, I, me, talk and Trav, about that. me and Trav have a have not an issue, but we gamble on everything. To, to Every to spoken like a we person do, with an issue. Do, yeah, like, on everything. What's gonna happen on the like, plane flight yeah, there? That's to true. That's true. who's gonna you, throw up first in Puerto Rico? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That, I thought yeah, you that's meant like, on, like bets. Real sports. Bets. But no, no, but we do. We, we bet on every like the Pro Bowl. We bet on. Like everything because nobody bets on the Pro no, Bowl. No, because Travis <laughs> for is Travis the most competitive person in the, in the world, and I've found out that I love beating him more than I, I anything. Like he is my boss. Like he said, I'm TPW or TPR. Travis Prana Wrangler. Yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. we found a, a a love of gambling on on dumb shit. Who's gonna throw up first? Who can drink their beer the first? Who can? Do you hit guys this? do you guys actually pay? Each oh other yeah, there was like we do. I, so I want sixteen yeah, bets in Puerto Rico. I, yeah, I want a bunch of money on the Super Bowl. And he paid me back in like 30 different foreign currencies that he found from all over his house. <laughs> yes. And it ended up being a little bit more than what he owed me. But the looks and the way I felt when I had to change it in at LAX was not worth the, the extra 20 bucks. So. That's and it was really like 1500 bucks. I think I won 1600 bucks from him. Holy but it was 30 shit. different currencies. And That's they didn't. They didn't take some of it. Some of it still. Like those places aren't countries anymore. And those are like he went to everywhere <laughs> he found. Those from, like, places uh, aren't countries yeah, anymore. Like, he, he <laughs> has a, a whole that's collection. That's my favorite country song. Yeah. That's not a country yeah. anymore. Uh, fuck some old rally places where he did some like rallies and some weird. There's still a lot of Prussian Franks rolling around. I yeah, <laughs> could have been that. <laughs> Again with yeah. the Franks, yeah. brother. Yeah. Again with the Franks. Yeah. in my head, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It all comes back to the Franks. <laughs> How do you know I'm not in Frank reborn? We don't. We don't know that. There's no one line right up <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like i mean you know it takes 18 to 24 years for reincarnation so let me ask you this yeah. did your parents <laughs> name you after the is. the past prince present tense of just dive no is it so, dope? my name is dope yeah <laughs> okay yeah no the, the the story is i was born in new orleans and they had a good friend named uh dove who was their dentist and they named me after him so we get a cool, because it's down. dive, and it's just like Dove. I didn't even know No, this. they did. They named yeah. after their friend Dove, which Dove actually I, means bear in Hebrew. Oh. Oh. But, so you're a gay man. A gay man. You said well, bear, Well, I mean, right? if, you're, if you are a yeah, heavy yeah, yeah, set, yeah, very furry guy, you're a bear. Yeah. In that are. community, I would be called a, uh, I think I'm a wolf. You're a twonk. A wolf. <laughs> <laughs> you're a tall twig. I'll, t- no, I'll tell you what. Uh, twonk, next, next to our, where we grew up is a I'm, town I'll, I'll take that. But n- Provincetown. Provincetown's a town next to where we grew up, and it's uh, has a, a, a massive homosexual community. And I went to Bear Week there one one year yeah, and there's you, you've never seen more nice people in your life oh, yeah. they're sure. so friendly ever, yeah. and so nice and did I, you partake i mean are you gay i mean who, who's gay who's not like how do you tell exactly no, <laughs> have you had a penis inside you from another man <laughs> what, what how <laughs> where <laughs> it's not like from here wow. up or here down i'm so no i'm, I'm, so not, gl- I'm not gay I'm no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> mouth or anus like how far do i need to go with this yeah. like, yeah. no i'm not Unfortunately, hey, I'm not. I'm not. Hey, unfortunately, define, no. define <laughs> in me. Yeah. 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 Like Around cons- me. Consensually? Like, how do you want to be Because if you gamble all the yeah. time, eventually, you bet me, me I won't. You bet me I won't. You got to pay the piper. Yeah. How did you <laughs> literally both get out piper. of a bowl, bowl cut? Because uh, my fiance, female fiance, said if you come home from Europe with a bowl cut, you're fucking sleeping in the garage. Gotcha. It was, that, it was like the I, only way I got out of it was because of this. I was like, no, I'm, mullet, yeah. I'm growing the mullet. Yeah, no. He tried. I don't. Yeah, I wasn't part of that game. It was just. It got, I'm not a big fan of those games. Yeah, we've the, we've hung up those guys, the fucking offhand drinking and yeah. the other bullshit. I mean, like, you want to see me in a bowl cut? Look at my high school photo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. But that, we were on the on the European tour, and like everyone was getting bowl cuts, and they were like attacking people with fucking clippers to get bowl cuts, and everyone was they're bowl cutting fucking kids, and it was. It was too much. So I got Man. It was fun, though. It was yeah. good fun. Back in the day, I got clippered. Like, this one of our camera guys, Dmitry Ilyaskovich, like... Was over clipping. and over again, you guys used to do Everyone it to each other. Everyone used to do it. So, like, I would fly home with a mohawk because they would get me, like, whatever. Yeah, I used so. to baptize people all the time. What's that? 
What's that? What do you mean, what's that? You don't know what a fucking what's a ba- baptism is? I would just grab people and baptize their ass. Oh, okay. Like in, in water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Boom, no, I'm you're Jewish. baptized. Give them context. You can legally do that. Yeah. You can't legally grab well, I mean, someone like and you force them the, underwater. You have the certificate Jared. of the doctor or whatever the fuck no, it is. No, can, you cannot grab someone and, and force them underwater against their will. That's, <laughs> that Your not, honor. That's yes. not legal. <laughs> Your majesty. Just to clarify. Yeah. Oh, you got to say, why don't you say body by Christ, you're good. Right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gumball Rally, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you this question. Is it true or false? Party Boy and Steve-O jacked off next to each other. I think they would tell you 100%, look you in the eyes, and say, yes, they did. And, and did they make eye contact? They com- made eye contact to the completion. entire time. Oh, to completion, yeah. Oh, ma- magazines? Uh, why? It's just, just man for man, mano <laughs> a mano. That is Dude, true. I think it actually even happened like in like Latvia or some weird country. Oh, Latvia. So, yeah, so it yeah, doesn't yeah. count. Latvia? And you know the rule of thumb. I th- I'm sure you're you're a filmmaker. You know the yeah. rule of thumb. It's it's not it's not gay. If what, Dove? Cameras are rolling. Cameras are rolling. Cameras are rolling. It's yeah. art. Yeah, it's, it's art. Comes art. It's art. Yeah. Yeah. It's art. There was no footage of that. It was though. a true patriot. There, no, there, there's MTV uh, just decided not to air that. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a few things that got shot that never. Made it yeah, out was of, anything that you guys turned in? They were just like, no, whoa, yeah. the whole yeah. first movie, no. <laughs> what? The, the whole first, first movie. Remember the whole first uh, movie? You, the whole first movie. Yeah, oh, that, tell us this. This uh, is the guy uh, saying like, this is amazing. It's never gonna end. I anywhere, can't. Really. I can't use the names because they're still around and I'd never work again. That's but fine. No, no. There. Names. I mean, when we screened the first film, it was with Paramount and MTV Films, and we it was long because we we're like, oh, we'll give them a lot more. And everyone who made the decision as a Greek thumb up and down, I went back and like, hey, you know, Trip, and they're like, hey, yeah, yeah, Paramount's never gonna release this movie. All right, let's go to dinner. And the woman from MTV Films was like, uh, did they just say they're not gonna release it? That's what I heard. So, and this is this it's is literally this is it, true. They it's said 100 true. It, there, there it, was a, there was a time where they weren't there was gonna a time release the movie at all. When they were right? just like, this Paramount's never gonna release this film. So, um, and then we had a woman who's there who's amazing who's like you know what like why not release it it's the the budget of the film is like the budget for craft service on transformers what do you got to lose right so and then it exploded that first weekend movie exploded. first weekend it made three times or god I don't know, five times what it cost to make in the first weekend jesus christ yeah. oh my god it was number one wasn't it, it was number yeah one each of the one weekend. I, I, uh, that's yeah. I keep forgetting about that. Each movie that we did was a number, the number one movie in America, opening movie for America, like including Bad Grandpa. So all four movies we did. I so. miss movies that are a blast like that. Uh, I, I enjoyed the shit of watching that. Like mm-hmm. I enjoyed the shit out of it. Project X, I felt like that about too. Or it was Good. just yeah, it's just an all time party movie yeah. like that. I'm. I wish they would make more movies like that where you show up. I mean, people were just screaming at the, yeah. the, theater, yeah, like the screen, just throwing shit, dying, laughing. Where you. We're missing, you know, other stunts and all that other shit because you're laughing so hard. Yeah, I mean, what I loved about it is that everything that we did, we could make people laugh, and like no one, like even when the you know, third movie in, I think we're all sitting there like, "We're gonna pay us again to do this," you know, yeah. like like no one ever. Was God, like, that porta potty slingshot is the fucking worst. <laughs> thing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Were you on that set? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you really think that's worse than the gas mask and the guy farting into the gas mask? You think oh that, yeah, <laughs> Preston. Then he, then he starts vomiting yeah, into the fucking well, mask. You, think you know what? That that was one of. Those, oh sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no I was gonna no, say that's no. one of those things that, like, on a rainy day, what do we shoot? And like, we're in a hotel room, and that's kind of like, all right, let's shoot fart yeah, mask. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see, how, mask. see how long it takes him to throw up. Yeah. Was there ever an, any uh, animosity toward like Knoxville? Because I mean, that, I don't know, man. It's hard. He, he took off from that group first. It's hard because he's such a nice guy. Like Knox is like awesome, and. uh I think everyone wanted his celebrity, but I don't think there was animosity, you know. Um, there was animosity amongst the group, like, every once in a while. But when you do that much stuff and you F with each other so much, like, it never stopped. So when it got really interesting when, like, we were on the road for a long time, everyone got tired and people started fucking with each other. It, for me and, and Knox and Tremaine, it was like, all right, everyone's tired. Let's pull out the big guns because you get people to break down, so... <laughs> so, uh, yeah. yeah, like like when you when they hit Bam with that fucking giant hand. Yeah. Oh, he was mad. Or or I don't know if you saw like in a we convinced the hotel to we put a a fake heart with a love note on it to the cast and the writing gets smaller and smaller and smaller and then Knoxville I had a monitor in a closet 
and Knoxville had the lever, and literally, like, when they got close, it punched him in the face. <laughs> and yeah. The reason... The reason we did that, so that is... Good. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You, so I promise fun. you, you've seen this. Yeah. That one's it's so what was amazing shit, is that dude. it was an off day. We were, the guys had a day off, and then Tremaine's like, hey, Tripp's in his hotel room. He's pissed at you. You need to go up and talk to him. When they came out of the elevator, that was there. And Misha's like, oh, my God, look at this. Some freaky... Yeah. So even on days off, we are Poor guys were fucking with him. So that's funny, but, man. You know, that was one of my favorite bits too. It was fun because you kept leaning in, smaller, smaller, and then small, boom, yeah. it was just yeah. yeah. It was fun. Yeah. What do you What are you guys working on right now? A lot. A lot. <laughs> a lot. Just not a, a lot. lot. A lot. A lot. A lot of uh, a lot. Twenty one savage. Twenty one savage. Yeah. Run through the gambit. Oh, yeah. God. Um. I mean, so at Nitro right now, we've got obviously our tours, mm-hmm. which uh, the the we've just done on Australia, and New Zealand, finishing our last show uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. <laughs> Uh, and then we come home for a couple of weeks and then we head off to um, all over the U.S. And then we head to Spain, then we head to U.K. Um, we've also got all of our World Game stuff, including yeah. Rally. So Rally is like a massive, massive kind of undertaking that we've, we did last year. We did our first ever Nitro Rallycross, NRX, and it was very successful and very innovative and kind of from the, the mind, mind of, of Travis Trav, Pastrana. Yeah. Like whenever right. Trav so, touches something, it's like it. Like when rally you know. guys who, <laughs> yes. you know, exactly. Um, like the rally guys showed up and there was a 120 foot jump in there and they're like, they've never done that. They're like, are you kidding me right now? Didn't, but, didn't the old rally circuit shut down? Like they bank, went bankrupt or something? Pretty shit? much. Yeah, like it's, 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 the guy it's struggling. It's, it's struggling right now. It's, it's changing. changing hands. Yeah. And again, yeah. it's, just, it's because like they're, they're, some of them are just too boring. Yeah, like it also comes down. I mean, whatever. Not, tra- the, not the race itself is boring, but like the drivers are not engaged. Like, like they're not doing I funny, mean, crazy shit talking UFC he, style shit to get people to sit in the seats. You got it, hundred percent. I think for us, it's like everything I've ever done in my career is to build character. Right? If the characters aren't good, who cares? What are you watching? Yeah, like same with NASCAR. So, yeah, NASCAR. Exactly, dying. dude. It, exactly. That, you know, it's like when you get Nitro, you get Trav, but you also get you know. R. Willie and and Vicky Golden and Jed Jed Milden, all these characters from around the globe that are all unique and individuals. And you know, when we do rally, it's like get the best rally drivers in the world. And instead of just saying, "Hey, this is a track you're driving," Travis brings them out and says, "Hey, like two days before we're ready to go, he's like, what do you want to change?" And the head of our um, live department, Dave Mateus, who has done every like Red Bull big huge event um, with Robbie Madison and Trav. Like was changing the track the night before the semifinals because the drivers were like, change this, change that. And Travis was like, all right, cool. Fuck. Yeah. And that's why we're kind of getting into skating yeah. right now. It's like we're reaching out to people like Elliot Sloan and like, hey, what do you guys want to do? What's, what's, the next, uh, what's the next elevation for you guys and how can we help you with it? Because um, we don't, you know, we don't, you know, we want the athletes like, it'd be yeah, like, I, you I, know what I mean? I, like, I, it, like for you personally, why do you keep working with people who want to die, it seems like? <laughs> I mean, from Tom Green uh, to Jackass uh, to Pastrana. I mean, every time you out, like, because we, we were at the History Channel gig yeah, for yeah. the Evil Knievel. It's like, man, every time out, the, the guy's got a chance to die every single day. Every night. And that's what I felt like Jackass sure. and Tom Green. Where wow, I was just had like, a major, like, realization moment. Like, what if you don't that, your that's life? That's 20 years, years of working with yeah, yeah, people yeah. Who, who essentially are trying to kill themselves. And just wow. barely survive at the end, and some of them don't. Like yeah, it's been a it's been a weird twenty years, I guess. Now you put it that way. Um, speaking of history, not to change it on you, is that um, by the time this airs, when in a month? Yeah. By the time this this airs, we airs will have uh, released that we're doing another three hours live with history. And oh man, that three, was a fucking blast last yeah. time. I'm glad you that guys was came. The highest rated cable event of the year. Like, we're going to come, we come cover it again. Yes. Yeah. What was it's going like to be here in town. And it's great. great. Yeah. Plus three point five million, God and then um, damn, highest dude. rated, like you said, cable special of the year, and then highest rated special since 2011 on history. So. We're doing it again, July seventh again. You guys got to come out. We had a blast, man. That was so much again? fucking fun. No, we're gonna be in San uh, San Bernardino. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, right down the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We literally need a and uh, the final stunt we're gonna do. We need a uh, a runway, to, uh, a plane runway. A lot for, of for room airplanes, yeah. to yeah. jump. Yeah, so a long how, far, how long? How far is that goddamn jump? Gonna we be? You, have to, you have to tune in July seventh. Yeah, July seventh. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good plug yeah, right you, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. cool thing. It's going to be nice. Yeah. It's going to be He knows. I'm like, talking to the Air Force. Why are you even talking to me? He knows everything we do. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a guest. I just sit with this council every night. Same. Like, you know? He's like, let me tell you what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> he, so, I sometimes find out from him. He's like, hey, did you hear what Travis is doing? I'm like, oh, what are we, what are we doing? <laughs> well, yeah. We drunkenly came up with this, this idea for a gigantic pit bike race that we treat it like it's an AMA Supercross, and now we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, at Trav's house, which oh, is really? set up for so that. So you actually have to sponsor a team, by the way. I'm Bison Hughes has write to sponsor the check a team right now. You'll today. get your own professional ra- uh, uh, rider. Do I get to pick my rider? Yes, you yeah. can. Okay. Because I want that to be part of I'm in. the whole the draft. ramp up. Is the is the 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 um, brand rider draft. <laughs> So yes. you guys okay. are all fighting over this your is, it, 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 it is it going to go as smooth as the one I, you and I were teams on in, in Long Beach that I got no, a no, hay no, bell no. off my head? Oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. Ooh, that oh. was that was when... Uh, Travis tried to kill Jack. Travis Osborne. took Jack Osborne out. Oh, oh yeah. And like, like really went hurt him. full Jack, Jack horizontal and knocked like him off months, the bike. Man. By the way... Yeah, he, really, he didn't know it was him. He just was... Travis sees red. Yeah. And then he hit me with a bail on the head. Yeah, Travis gets like, cra- like we were talking before, crazy competitive. He doesn't know what he's doing. And he's trying to win a charity event. <laughs> on <friend>. cement. <laughs> on cement. And hit Jack Osborne off a bike. Like he body was, checked him. He was horizontal. Not Travis, yeah. Travis yeah. dove like a horizontal in the air and clotheslined Jack off a bike. Fuck that, <laughs> yes. dude. All of that. Like, yeah. None and of then, that yeah, sounds like a good time. Hit him with a hay bale. And like, yeah. like, <laughs> Threw a hay bale. It was <laughs> fucked up. Like, tra- Travis, I can't don't help ride either. So. <laughs> I was not a threat. Wow. Yeah. That's fucking insanity. So I got I got to rewind this interrupt. You're a carpenter. I take take this back. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> we're way I'm back. fascinated by that. I like yeah. working class America. So yeah. you're a carpenter. How do you end up from a carpenter the to part of three Jesus of the biggest went from shows? The carpenter to the savior of the world. I thought buddy. there wasn't hell or Jesus or anything else. <laughs> now Jesus is real, right? Oh man. <laughs> no, but how do you go from a carpenter? I've literally been a blue collar worker my entire life. Love uh, it. We grew Love up it. on Cape Cod. I my wife at the time was like, I've been traveled the globe, and my wife was like, hey. I want to be an actress in California. She went out to do that. I should say my first wife. I was going to say, you're no longer with her. <laughs> no, 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 As soon no. as you started that story, I was like, they're divorced. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it's mostly because all the guys were jacking off in her backyard all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> um, you got to run a black light through that. Thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't want to talk yeah, about that. The way he was stroking his light. dick, though. I know. So we're right back to that. It's I'm, not gonna gonna keep, I'm just going to keep bringing that up over and over again. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm visually yeah. thinking Why do you keep about moving further <laughs> away from me? Because <laughs> oh, I feel like this is going one direction. It's not Oh, not like my it. God. <laughs> so, whatever. I came out here, got a job building sets, and I'm like a workaholic. I've been on my own since I was 16, so I'm a workaholic and worked hard for people. And then a friend of mine was like, hey, there's a job at MTV. And that was when MTV was like, hey, here's a quarter of a million dollars. Make a cool show. And you're like, it's three of us. Um, yeah, and just worked at MTV for a while and worked hard. And I don't even know. Just, That's awesome. But I, yeah. did, I did some of the Absolutely shittiest awesome. jobs you could ever imagine in Hollywood. Like for the holidays, I delivered like pistachio nuts to like, Networks are fucking love it. Yeah. Or, uh, JT worked at McDonald's. Oh, like, dude, I worked when I was on the East Coast. I worked at I couldn't get it. I was putting myself through college. I was working, couldn't find a job, so I worked at McDonald's for like four days. And I put on the dude. I'm big dude, purple pants, a purple shirt, and a purple visor. I'm like, dude, you <laughs> are a gay Barney, and I need to find a new job. <laughs> it was you Grimace, guys, right? You guys you both Grimace? worked at McDonald's. This is great. Oh, what I say? Yeah, Grimace. Yeah, I was, was Grimace. Grimace. Yeah, what? So yeah. Meaning like the outfit. I just like. Imagine me like. Please tight tell me there's a photo somewhere. There's Please a photo somewhere. tell me. Oh, Fuck! I need that. Photo. I have to send you a photo. photo, photo. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. What's your worst? So you job know, then? you know D- David Gale then. Yeah, yeah. Of so course. David. David now runs We Are the Mighty, and he used, to, oh, be, oh, oh, gotcha, used gotcha. to be an executive at MTV Films. David Gale's awesome. Yeah, actually, yeah. David Gale um, used to run when we did the first movie. David Gale was head of MTV Films. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's nuts. What was your first? What, your worst job? Dove? I. So yeah, I, I kind of had a similar path. The trip I, I got out of college, started working very low in production, PA. A PA for PAs, and the worst one I did was working on. I worked on a bunch of uh, animal shows, and my first job <laughs> yes. on one of these animal projects was to drive all these special dogs to the set. But I had to go around and pick them up. Why and was Jackson, there air, air quotes for special? Because they were like, you know, like people like this is my very special breed oh, of oh, oh, whatever. Oh, yeah. I thought it was no, like no, 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 no,
And the owners were like, um, you know, make sure that Fluffy's okay. He's a, he's a special breed. We just got his hair cut and dry and all this. I'm like, no worries. I had all these cages in the back of this minivan. And this, I was just, So this pretty much is Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. No, it, <laughs> it, it, it is. Wow. It exactly yeah, is. And I get there bird. to the set and they'd all like got car sick because I wasn't paying attention. I was just 21 years old, like listening to rock music and got there and they'd like shit on themselves and throw up themselves. I got fired <laughs> when I pulled up. They kicked me out and said, fucking beat it, man. Like, you can't do that. Yeah. Was like, it was like... 2004, like I, there was no Uber. Like I don't even know how I got home. Like I called my buddies. Like just got fired off the set of this. This. Do you, uh, do you want to talk about how you ended up on um, Nitro Circus? Yeah, it's uh, it's yeah. I mean, it's the pet theme, so you can you yeah. Can with it. Yeah, uh, you should talk about oh, it. Oh God, did you fuck a parrot or something? No. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm waiting for the not, other shoe to not, drop. Not there. for lack of not for lack of trying. Because the way he said it was like, you want to tell him? <laughs> you want to tell <laughs> him what you did? Are we talking about you, this? You fucked that parrot. Yeah. Parrot talk back to you. Yeah. Uh, it's not. It's it's a funny. It, I'll make it quick. We were looking for new producers for Nitro Circus for like the first season, and his he was his brother, right? Yep. Yes. His, his brother called yep. me and said, "Hey, my brother's moving to uh, L.A. Do you want to? Can you meet him and talk to him?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah we're meeting the new producers." The guy before him came in sweaty and in a panic, and was like, "I only have ten minutes because my van." didn't fit in the parking structure because of the satellite dish and I got to get back before my cats get too hot. So we had met like what 20 the fuck? We had met like 20 producers before him. Yeah. And then that guy came in and then he and came, then I in. came in. I couldn't remember anyone that we had met before him except for the guy whose cats were going to die if we didn't. What the fuck? I think he still said the guy I went in for an, for an interview. They're like, what do you know about action sports? Nothing. How many cats do you have? None. None. How many satellites do you have in your car? None. You're hired. <laughs> was that yeah. But he <laughs> did. Great. Yes. When you guys, cats? Yeah. <laughs> when, you talk about his, <laughs> when you talk about his name, the sweetest girl that worked with us for years. Well, we won't talk about the bet you still have. Um, yeah. No. Um, he's like, she's like, hey, what is, she, what is it? Hey, Dove. Hey, Dove. And he's like, Stove. That's not, yeah. that's not true, actually. But that is true. Whatever. I've called, is it, him, is I've it called dove? him Dove it's since dove. I met dove. him. Like yeah, Dove yeah. in the water. No, yeah, into yeah. the water. I get it. That's, but he called him Dove. Crazy. But everyone calls him Dove or Dove. Or, he calls me Dove. I like Dove better. Why don't we just change? Why don't we make a pack? We'll change it right never, now. Yeah. He's never corrected me, a but every single pack. person yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. Is like, oh, I just don't give dove. a fuck. Like, what I'll about walk into Doove? <laughs> Doove. Doove. Sexy, is it? Yeah. 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 Hey, man. Yeah. Doove. I don't Doove. think I have it in me. I don't think I have it in me. Dove. Oh, you, oh, you're going to have it in you. If you use that word, you'll have it in you. That was the best part of the whole show. In you from here down or? Just clarify. Um, we can uh, cut all that, right? That whole, that whole part. Are you guys cut, looking right? for more shit to add to your roster? Oh, like, of course, we always we are. Always yeah, yeah. Sports, like in we, the, that's the thing. We don't. Everything. I mean, we have an action sports brand or youth brand. We do the tour. We do stuff in that in that space. But we have a couple shows right now that we're in development with Discovery and A and E that have nothing to do. They're just big and loud. I mean, Nitro as a brand is not. It's action sports, but it's big, loud, um, pushing the envelope. You know. Sure. Yeah, and that's what kind of what our brand is, and we we're pitching to everyone across you know the spectrum from we just an NBC the other day, CW yeah. What's up, man on a buffalo? Man on a buffalo. Yeah, that's a show. That's not big and loud, Bert. It's Have you not, seen it's the not video? Big and loud. Oh yeah, I love that. What's one. Man on a buffalo? <laughs> you guys have not seen Man on a Buffalo. I have buffalo? not seen Man on a Buffalo. No, it's pretty so good. It's a music watching. video. It's, it's a music great. video. Okay, I I want to I want to see the show that I wanted for you guys, uh, for you and Matt. Which one? I, I, I want to see. Do you watch those those housing shows? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, it's called uh, No House Left Behind, and it's it would be Matt and Jared demoing houses for veterans that come back, and then Jared obviously would fuck shit up. Like that's a pretty good show. Actually. Yeah, because I you, love it. You see people smashing through wall. You know, it's always those shitty dudes. You know, yeah. it's just like they can barely swing. Imagine this guy fucking just wrecking walls and in these people's and houses. The wrong walls and, and Matt you know, going through yeah, walls. Yeah, you, I don't know if you know Matt best, but <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Matt's the host, and then you know it's a surprise for whatever veteran comes home. It's called No House Left Behind. That's actually a great idea, and it's actually to, wrecking the home is like the therapy to. Oh, yeah. Get aggression out. Correct. Yeah. And, and, and who better to do it than this fucking guy? Someone, someone in this no. room has a lot of pent up aggression. On, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Frankenstein. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Frankenstein. Yeah. yeah. He, he, like the two of you guys. It's a great idea. Because the way that, the way that those work would be uh, that's that's a perfect fit for me. Where it's just Matt would be just be so pissed off at you. 
is you're just constantly eating, sleeping, and then just bashing in like <laughs> what was one or two walls, and that's it. And then Matt's got to do the real. What was real that work. idea we had about a show like that? But we just fucked everything up. No, no, purpose? we were gonna go in and like send Crispy on a vacation, oh, and yeah. we were gonna fuck his house up and turn <laughs> it into a fob like it was overseas, like put gravel down, <laughs> and and move thirty guys into the fucking living room and cots, <laughs> and when he comes back, around his house. Yeah, yeah. That's hey, check it out. We turned your house into a fob. No no grill, fob no, that just, house. Just MREs, no grill, no cooking. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just got te- like, everyone like peeing in fucking, tubes. It's gonna be amazing. Piss yeah, yeah. tubes. We pull all the electricity out and just put generators. <laughs> MRAP. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because the cool look, the cool thing about what you guys do is you have the opportunity to change the landscape of culture or yeah. you know popular culture as it's happening or or as it's going forward. I mean, looking back at all this shit, did you think any of it was going to be successful? No, not at all. I literally had no idea like getting into the stuff that it was going to. And I still like I still have that like mentality of like, am I still fooling people? Right, right, I'm like, right, right. do it's I really such, know what I'm doing? Weird, like, yeah. It's such a weird dynamic. Is I remember when Jackass first came out, even people that were horrified by it and hated it still fucking had watched to watch it. it. You had to watch it. They kept watching. You had to watch it. And yeah. They yep. kept telling everybody about it, which just made more people watch mm-hmm. it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's such a weird dynamic, but it's awesome. Well, here's a question: with you guys probably being just light years ahead of everybody in this town on social media because you guys' content department is one of the most brilliant ones I've ever seen. You guys are releasing things on multiple platforms, multiple verticals every day. Does that make pitching some of this stuff easier when you're out there? Like, what's the climate like? Because, yes, you have these accolades behind you. We know that we're never going to see another jackass on TV Mm -hmm. now, but you guys have social media figured out and you've got a lot of big names on there. So what does that look like when you're going into these pitches? I mean, you know better than anyone trying to pitch is like the landscape is always changing. Yeah. Um, I think for us, it, it helps to have that social media push with the amount of people we have. Um, but no matter what you do, you still get prove. you know, like when you're going to NBC and you have, you know, you've got, multiple things going on. They're still like, what format's going to make me money? And the thing we do get a lot is, hey, we want a show like this, but how do you guys, how do we nitrify it? Like, how do we bring it to the next level? Right. And I think that's where we're at now is we're doing a lot of stuff that's in development that is taking ideas that could be on any platform and pushing it to the limits. So Yeah. What is uh, what is the release date, if, if picked yet, for the Puerto Rico film? Uh, that's a good, that's, that's just a good said, question. Yeah, we we just, said that they editing the sizzle uh, to sell, but I mean, potentially this summer or potentially around this year's event. Mm-hmm. So the kind of two options we're looking at is looking at the at summer or uh, fall. Yeah, How many it, people are on your team? How many people <laughs> work for you guys or work with you guys? I mean, in the media department? Yes. Mm-hmm. I, it's, really, it's, it's us two. Um, a producer, a development producer, and... A guy who does finance, and so then five or six people, like five people, and, and we contractors, pro- and and then we what we do is we expand and contract with mm. contractors. So like, when we're doing independent contractors, right? independent yeah, yeah. contractors, and usually people that I've worked with for twenty years, so right. um, they step in and and crush it, and um, yeah, that's the one thing about their sets too, the most efficient sets I've ever been on because every one of their crew, right. Have, has been part of that team for mm-hmm. 10 years. It's great. So, and like, it, it's all rare. your cameras, it's rare. your it's sound, rare. everybody yeah. it's different. has worked with the same group of people for that long. It's just... Yeah. I've, tr- I've tried. The, the good people end, end up getting picked off to, like, big shit, and you're just like, ah, oh, fuck. How, how are you able to keep the same guys over and over and over again? I think cause it's it's fun, and it's it's a... You know, we always say Nitro's a family. And it, it really is. I mean, you've seen it. It's, it's we are a family, and, and of course, we've got guys that have got picked up by bigger shows and bigger projects. But like when we we set up shop to do a a proper show or a proper project, people want to come back because of that that family attitude. And I, I might be crazy to think that, but I, I really do think that's why it is. Like people will go out of their way and take less pay to come be a part of something special, something rad, something that that they can't you can't do it anywhere else. You're not gonna go be part of Evil Live anywhere else. Right. And be part of the yeah. family. I think it's also that I mean that's a huge part of it, but also um, Chip sucks everyone's dick. 
Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> mm. shit! He's part of the package. Yeah. Is that yeah. part of the package? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about a job. <laughs> I, I, don't, uh, I don't have a <laughs> satellite right. on my van or any cats. <laughs> <He's actually laughs> no cats, and I got no Zero satellites. Cats. Right. I'm a dog guy. I'm a dog guy too. All right, well, let's We're get to work, guys. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, We start production. No tonight. house left. <laughs> no, um, it's like also <laughs> thanks, sorry, dude. Sorry, it's true. No, and and making it fun i don't know man like i i could leave tomorrow and and be a carpenter again i don't i really don't give a shit like you're if, too rich for that you won't no, do that yeah you no fucker. Not. i'm you actually fucker. not um, <laughs> if to be honest like everyone is treated exactly the same doesn't matter what your job is like come have fun because whatever we're doing is extremely risky and if you see me or him freaking out everyone freaks out and sure. when the life's on the line like we don't, never show stress, you know? It's like you got to watch out for the athlete or whoever is the focus, and they're the focus, not everyone else. So when you hear people complaining about, like, oh, the cappuccino's not right in the right. craft service, you're like, oh, my God, I want like, to punch you. Here. Yeah. yeah. I, you're not getting a bendy straw with your spray. We're jumping a helicopter <laughs> right now. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly, right. You were there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was, like, uh, yeah. the smallest production crew ever to jump a helicopter, shoot guns, blow shit up. Like, yeah. With, there, like, was, the most there wasn't even a water truck. No. Nope. Oh, it. how do you get away with that in LA? <laughs> uh, we weren't in LA. There Phoenix. you go. Maybe. We were May, yeah, I, so, maybe. We were, so we, were, sorry. we weren't there. Do you guys ever watch anything and say, fuck, I wish I would have done that? Oh, God, all the time. Man. What's, what's something now that you're like, man, I wish I would have got this? Because, like, for me personally, Moana. there was something. That, there was something I watched that I was like, man, I wish I had the money to do it, and Barstool got it, which was rough and rowdy. Mm. Rough and rowdy, that the the boxing, the white trash boxing that they're doing. Yeah, it's pretty funny. So and Bill Burr hosts it. Oh, that's pretty funny. On pay per view once a month, but it's just normal people kicking the shit out of yeah. each other. It's like tough being competitors for back in the day. Yeah, basically. I, same honestly, thing. Homeland. I don't know why, but like, oh, is that your is that your jam? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, it's a great old show. Old Homeland. You know, like I think it kind of lost Claire a little Danes, bit. Right? What? Claire Danes. Claire Danes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and Mandy Patinkin. Man. It's who, just so who smart. Who would want to work with that guy? I know, right? He's fucking like. People think of him as just the character from Princess Bride and then the guy from Homeland now, but he's like one of the most prolific actors of right. all time. I think of him as a as a man with the with the name of Mandy. Mandy Patinkin. That's yeah. rare. Listen, but he gets away with it. Hot shot. He yeah. pulls it off. What about no, you? He was in about Run you, Run too. Like when they started making a musical about Ronnie, yeah, he was the guy singing na completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Oh my god, I can't remember the song. Um, fuck, I wish I could remember the song that he sang. Something about y'all are brutalizing me or whatever. Yeah. Whatever David Cross would say every time he <laughs> ran away from the cops. Have you seen that movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so fucking funny. Have you seen it, Bert? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you seem like a Run Ronnie Run fan. We did watched he, it did he change course. his name to Patankin when he came to Hollywood? That's a weird. Know. Like what know. nationality is that? He looks uh, Jewish to me. Yeah, he is. He is. So he's a huge fan. Is that is that a Manny is that a don't be racist, Dan. Like, how would Jews Take not it easy there, Mel Gibson. Like, so, yeah. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what the etymology of Patinkin is. Where, where, where does that name come from? I think uh, it's Jewish. Yeah, I believe it's Jewish. Turkish. Yeah, I know. But I like, don't know. Yeah, well, what do no you idea. want to wear, though? Well, I, I, things that I see, because I, I'm still in that kind of the action sports world. I see stunts, and I think, fuck, I'd, it would be fun to work on that. And not specifically action sports stuff, but like, obviously, Maddo's um, bike at Chopu was uh, something that me and Travis talked about for a couple of years, and Matto did it and did it awesome. But then, like, the, the, what's his name? Eric Winaldo, the guy who did the, the tightrope stuff. Like, just the way that they did that and shot that and covered that, it wasn't crazy, but it was just, it blew the fuck up. And I thought that was pretty cool. Like, yeah, how, cool. how big it went. And we kind of do, we do stuff like that, but, like, I just think they did a good job of, of promoting it and, and making it really big. If you pitch me a tightrope locking show, I'm going to punch hey, you. Hey, you guys thought rope? about... Did you see that, that there, guy? Yeah, of course. Who tight wrapped it? It was the the Grand Canyon, yeah, right? Yeah, the Grand Canyon. They yeah. did something in Chicago, but it, they just promoted it and did it really well. I, I didn't like that it, the, he was connected to something though. The pole, like I wanted to see the guy fucking die. Like he was have, have a chance to die. <laughs> that's I wanted to watch. That's why I watched. I wanted to see the guy die. Yes, but, yeah, like, but they did a great job promoting. It. Like you might see someone die. And, people the, and the, they they did what everyone's trying to do. You just spend it live for forty yeah. minutes. They did that's a the big thing. You're so, living it live. Yeah. Yeah. Are you in the works of a Larry and Ticer, uh, You know, special Ooh. maybe. Stunt? We, yeah, maybe. No, but we should be. <laughs> Can we be? 
Can you tell me, are we? He's a world class yes. athlete. That he's guy. a he's a legend. He's got charisma. He's got style, and he's he's not scared to machismo. fucking send it. Yeah, he yeah machismo. Machismo. Yeah. Machismo. Yeah, I love him. yeah, he he made a brief appearance on Action Figures too, uh, available on iTunes right now. Um, and <laughs> yeah, how's that doing, by the way? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Good. Yeah, going good. It was been that's another a project that we put all, everything we had into it, and it was it was pretty rad. It was unconventional. I think the way we released it with different platforms, but it was. Yeah, in, today, in today's current climate with smart TVs and all that shit, you almost, it's kind of trial and error with all these things where there's, you're like, man, is Crackle a thing? Do people like it? Do, you know, like, it's a strange it's world a, where you're like, what but, is, yeah. like, yeah, Especially those yeah. TV apps because uh, you, you might, you could go to Crackle and say, what's your subscriber count? But they would count everybody that has that app on their fucking For sure. TV. That, so it's just all the TVs that are sold. That doesn't tell me shit. Right. Yeah. Like they're, they're not going to give you active user. Like, like I, I still don't believe in Hulu. Like I just can't get down on it. I, but like at the same, you you miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. So we, we that's we, what Lee we Harvey swung. Oswald said. Yeah, we went for it. <laughs> I think so. it was JFK that said it. <laughs> well, oh yes. And yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, Oswald to shoot. Was him. Motivated, yeah, for him. <laughs> Is that not right? We're Is it too <laughs> soon? <laughs> too soon too for soon, an Oswald yeah. joke. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. Should yeah. I yeah. switch this to John Wilkes Booth? Is that welcome to the girls' fake news, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> have you guys ever thought about doing something uh, like a team sport kind of thing that's just fucking wild as shit like Blitzball have you heard of that it was on like maybe five years ago it's where they're they're basically playing rugby but they have uh, a stun gun lasso to the that wrist that is amazing and they're just running around tackling each other but like you could be running with the ball and a guy's trying to tackle you can fucking shock his ass I would what? love to see you guys make something I've like that. I've that, never seen that. that. And we'll have to show you guys awesome. a trailer. Dude, fucking Maybe crazy re revive shit. that. Where, was that is really there, a thing? Yeah, I'm, for yeah, was, several years. And where did, is there fuck. teams that play each other? There were. I don't think the league exists anymore. Yeah. Holy shit, he has Sorry. it on his phone ready to go. <laughs> it's not the first time. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not the first time. So, so you can see it. You, can, you, you see them get shocked, and you're just like, holy shit. Oh, okay. Has, have you guys been shocked? Have you guys been stunned before? Absolutely. Yes. It sucks, right? It's yeah, it's not fun at all. Yeah. It depends on how fine. high it is, you know, how high you jack that fucking yeah, thing up I've, to. I remember when I first, okay, after the, the whole cat guy incident, when I first got run into jackass, I was like, a few of the first days, I got stunned and just... That's not like, fun. Well, I was I was stationed in Asia for about seven oh. years, and you can buy. These, I hate that sounds. But look at this full on tasers in in like the Philippines and Thailand and stuff. So we would land. Everybody would get them. <laughs> You'd be out in town like why, on why are you off. wearing goggles? Just came on, man, and people were buying they holsters like cell phone yeah. holsters yeah. and had two or three of these things. And you'd be like going to get a taxi by yourself at like two in the morning or sit in McDonald's uh, eating. The and audience come up and just close. Were you guys only tasing each other or tase? You can only tase yourself. Okay, cool. You can only tase guys that were on. Okay, you couldn't tase. Taste yeah. random like old ladies. But it was like all night long. Everybody's That's like looking crazy. over their shoulder for for two nights. Like what the fuck? And you'd be you'd sit literally like going to take a piss and a few beers deep, and somebody'd come up and just hammer you in the bathroom. Yeah. It's like how <laughs> how how awful is that sound? Wow. That tick tick tick. Yeah, it's a horrible sound. Yeah, that's it's a, the that's worst. A, that's a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just do it. That's a team room thing. I mean, even in the 82nd, oh, we worse. did that yeah. shit. We'd light each other up all the time. Yeah, really? Have you ever been fun. hit by a? Uh, uh, the bull taser, the, the big yellow oh, one. Fuck. Oh, yeah, no, cattle prod, that, yeah. Cattle, mm. that one's not rough. that small one, the big no, yellow yeah, the, one. The, the it, that poles, one sucks. That's actually worse. Roll. Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll zap feel you. bad for the cows. Yeah. You, yeah. Don't, you don't give a shit. I, know. I, See, I, mean, I, I was thinking about just throwing a mega hat on and carrying one of those around or just, downtown just, Hollywood. Just, just, just seeing what happens. Grab my hat. What if you wore a MAGA hat and a Black Lives Matter shirt? Be fucking confused. Like who, who would fuck with you about what first? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. That's a fun game. Yeah, let's send some people out on the street. You could today. wear one of those pink pussy hats to top it off. You know, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. right underneath it. Just, just right underneath it. Uh, now's the point in the show. We get to the drinking bro of the week, which is somebody who inspired you uh, coming up or on the come up. Who was the the most inspirational guy for each of you um, in this whole fucking Mine's crazy tough. journey you've been on? Um, I know. I'm so that guy named Dove that he was named after, probably. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. His name was the, Dove Glazer. Yeah, he's the, a dentist. The paralyzed Inglis. kid. If you're watching this and you're in uh, New Orleans and you need dent, uh, dental help, look up Dove Glazer DDS. He's Wait, available. he still exists? Yeah, fuck By yeah. Exists, I mean, he's still alive. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. I said it that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's, he's, gotta, in, yeah. he's in dental heaven. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go find this guy and yeah. figure out why his fucking name is Dove. Get a gold well, tooth? It's, like, it's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's a very. Uh, like prominent Jewish name, like is Israel, it really? a lot of doves. Ah, I don't and, going, you. and going back, like inspire me in what way? 
Because I have a whole bunch of people that inspire yeah. me. But uh, inspired, like, because you guys are in, in production, yeah, producing. Um, was there anybody in the come up who said, "Hey, man, I, I want to show you X, and this is going to help you out later on in your career"? Or it, look, it could be your parents, you know, or, or a brother or a sister who was just like, "Hey, go for this, get the fuck out of here." It could be that one girl, the actress, you know. You know what's crazy? I've had like three mentors in Hollywood, and they now have moved on to like owning their own companies. Like, so a guy named Tony Testa when I first. Ended up at MTV, like used to carry around a baseball bat and hit it on my thing, like, and scared the shit out of me, but scared me to do big things. Uh -huh. And then a woman named Audrey Morrissey, who executive produces uh, The Voice now, uh -huh. and a woman named Jane. <laughs> so she's doing all right then. She's doing okay. Yeah, she's, and then a woman named Jane Lipsitz, who like was a director when I was a PA, when teach me all this shit and does like Project Runway and owns a company called Magical Elves. That's What's awesome. it called? Magical Elves. Magical usually? Elves. Yeah. That's cool. That's sweet. What about you, Dove? Um, what's what's the, the the dentist? Do you want to thank that no, fucking no, no, no. dentist? What, what's what's the the award called? What's the thing we're calling the drinking bro of the week? Yeah, drinking bro of the week. So I would have to say my one is uh, Bruce Cook. I know this is, sounds kind of cheesy. My one, my one. Yeah, you can't, you can't say. What can't you say? M I N E. Yeah, um, is Bruce Cook. And I know again, it sounds kind of cheesy, but like just being with him on tour the last couple months, Bruce Cook is a uh, like one of the best motocross athletes. Uh, broke his back in one of our shows, mm -hmm. got paralyzed. And was told you'll never ride again, never walk again. You're just, you know, you're paralyzed. He's now riding in our shows again, uh, doing flips. And honestly, the best part of every single show is watching Bruce go out and do a flip paralyzed, which is just crazy to say. And the way he does it and his attitude and how funny he is. And he gets more pussy than anyone on tour. And you guys should do great. a marketing campaign awesome. about him called Science Can Go Fuck Itself. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what I could do, bitch. That's why I burned that tree down in the fucking <laughs> moon theater parking yeah, lot. Oh. What a show. Oh, my God. oh man. This is oh, a blast. That, mm. Yeah, fuck. I mean, Bruce would be all about that. Yeah. yeah. That like, would be he's, he's not scared. We should make him sure it's say Bruce Cook, science to go fuck itself. Like he's, but he's just such a we good dude. Have so those, like could every have time ready in about twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right, no shit. I believe so, yeah, twelve. I love, but I love watching fine. Bruce. Yeah. We could do it. Uh, dove trip. This was fun, man. Thank you guys. Man. Yeah, it was really fun. thanks yeah, for yeah, being awesome. here. Let's do this again. I, I know, I know. It was a fucking blast, dude. Uh, Bert Coons, glad to have you back, brother. Thank you. Bro. By the Appreciate way, Bert's going it. by Appreciate Bert Firemaker. Coons now. Yep, and Firemaker will be with us for the next uh, week of yeah. shows, so stay tuned. And thanks for sitting through the whole podcast, not walking no out here. Thank you. Guys. Not living up to the name. <laughs> I didn't have anything else to do. My my real <laughs> friends are busy working today. <laughs> no, thank you for 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 uh, having me on. And you guys, this is awesome. Like. I'm 43, so I watched that whole trajectory of every show you guys have done, and it, it, man, I watched a lot of Jackass. To include a lot. a lot. And the other one that you guys did again, we didn't talk about it, but man, Jackass like on deployments and stuff, like people overseas, because that was DVD days, so like people would bring the whole, all the movies, the, awesome. all the seasons, and dudes would just sit, come back on missions, and you could just get, a, you could literally watch that shit and totally find, get rid of everything in your head and just watch that shit because it's just funny. That comment make means more to me than anything yeah so, we watched a I mean, ton of that shit what you guys do i can't even imagine and thank you all for your service yeah, and, thank you, thank you and again um you know coming up on this not to go to it but the thing that we're doing on for evil knievel on the seventh inviting you know so close to the fourth of july we're going to try and invite all the services there and, awesome, and entertain awesome, them yeah awesome, working on awesome. it now yeah cool. and this man's going to help us he's the, he's, the, he's the guy he's the guy he's in the, the best community hands down yeah the gentlemen worker. thanks man it was, yep. it was a thank fucking you thank you thank you jt for having us thank you everybody yeah yep. for d'anthony d'anthony holloway trip dove jared Cut and man mr burke coons Love you, Bison Union. dot com. Twenty percent off. Bring promo code Drinking Bros. Drinking Bros. Uh, love you. I'm Ross Patterson. Good night, everybody. Yeah.